Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. Today we are going to discuss about probability density distribution. So you know we have discussed that what is probability, how we can find it with the help of binomial distribution, right? But we have discussed this so far. But what if we are given with the definite discrete points and that is also in the form of limits and we have to find out the value of probability as well as the mean value. What you can do, let's say an example is given to you. If x is a continuous random variable with probability density function, this. This is in the form of function where limits are vary from 0 to 2, 2 to 4 and 4 to 6 and you have to find out the value of k. You know that sum of all the probabilities of all the events for a particular, let's say you are throwing a die. Okay, so you have sample spaces, you have particular possible outcomes as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's it, right? So all of those are having probability somewhat like probability of 1, probability of 2, up to probability of 6. Some of all the probabilities of that particular event of throwing a die will be 1, right? So, what you can do, simply the total probability of any event, the sum of the probability is 1, right? Now, this can be written as fx dx. Limit 0 to 6. It is sum of probability. It is from 0 to 2, then 2 to 4, 4 to 6. So sum, if you take the sum of each and every interval, then that will be your total probability and that should be equal to 1, right? So that's what you are doing here. Now, expand it with respect to these functions. So this is kx kx dx, but that is for limit 0 to 2, right? Plus 2k dx, but that is for limit 2 to 4. And then minus kx plus 6k dx, limit 4 to 6, right? Now, you know how to solve this. K, the uh, integration of x is x square by 2, limit 0 to 2. Uh, integration of dx is x, limit k is constant, limit 2 to 4. This will be minus k x square by 2, limit 4 to 6, plus 6 kx, right? Limit 4 to 6. Correct? Now, expand this. You can take k by 2 out. What is left? Upper limit minus lower. So, 2 square is 4. And 0 square is 0. Plus 2k. Upper limit minus lower. 4 minus 2 is 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. You can take 2 out. So, 6 square minus 4 square. So, 36 minus 16. What is left? 20, right? 36 minus 16, 20. So, 20, that means it will be 10. 20 divided by 2. Plus 6k, 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 times 2 is 12. That is 1. Correct? Now solve this, you can write it as 2k. So 2 and 4, 6k minus 10k minus 4k, 12 minus 4 is 8. So you can write it as 8k, that means your k is 1 by 8. So first part is solved. Now to find out mean value of x, what you can do? You have probability function, right? You can multiply it with the number of values like with x then you can get the mean value so your mean let me grab just a so for mean 
value, what you can do? Simply multiply it with x. Okay? So, the function, the number of values. Now, again start x of kx limit 0 to 6, sorry, 0 to 2 plus x into 2k limit 2 to 4 dx plus minus kx plus 6k this is your function multiply by x limit 4 to 6 dx okay now this is x squared so you know how to evaluate integration of x square. x cubed by 3, limit 0 to 2, k is still here, 2, x square by 2, k is still here, limit 2 to 4, right? And this will be minus k because it is x square, so x cubed by 3, limit 4 to 6, right? Plus 6kx. For x, it will be x square by 2, limit 4 to 6, right? So, upper limit minus lower, k by 3, 2 cube is 8. Upper limit, 4 square, you can cancel 2 with 2, right? Because this is limit, not the power of something. So, upper limit minus lower, 4, 4 is a 16, and 2, 2 is a 4. So, 16 minus 4 is 12. So it is 12k. This would be 6 cube which would uh, which is 216 and 4 cube which is 64. Upper limit minus lower limit. Pi k by 3 plus 6k. Upper limit minus you can cancel 2 with this 3k. Upper limit minus lower. 36 minus 4 is 20. Right? So 8k by 3. Plus 12k, this would be 6 minus 4 is 2, 11 minus 6 is 5, 152k by 3, this would be 60k. You can take LCM, so this would be 12 minus 8 is 4, 144 by 3k, and this is 72k. Multiply this, take LCM, so 3 times 2 is 6, let me solve here. 3 times 2 is 6, 7, 3 is a 21, 144, 6, 11 minus 4 is 7, 72k by 3. That means 3 to the 6, 3 4 is a 24, 24k and you have got the value of k as 1 by 8 initially, so 8 times 3. So, 3 is your mean. Alright? So, in this way, you can solve the continuous, if you are given with discrete points, the limits, the distribution, you can find out the mean and the value of content with the help of this. Okay? I hope you understand this video. If so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. And take care till my next video. Bye-bye.